this could probably be the last cold start with this current exhaust setup. So let's make it a good one. So let's go. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are over at Michael's house and uh, he is going to be helping me out a little bit. Uh, well, look at this. Yeah? Sure. So if you guys don't know Michael, you haven't been, for some reason you haven't watched long enough to know who Michael is. This is like my middle school, like childhood best friend. Hey, a dragon club. And uh, he's gonna be helping me out today by welding a vibrant ultra quiet on my Borla exhaust. Now, I've had this set up for just over a year and at first I liked it. Uh, it is definitely a lot louder than I expected. And I feel like it's just been, me and Michael were talking about this yesterday, how about every time I've bought an exhaust for a car, it's always way louder than I thought it would be. And for me, it's the opposite. Yeah. Um, the Taurus, this Taurus was super quiet when he put an exhaust on it. This was deafening when he first got it. Um, but yeah, the sport track was the same way. When I put an ex when I did the full exhaust with the headers in the sport track, I thought I got big enough mufflers to quiet it down, and I was very wrong. And this is no different. I figured this thing would be pretty tame, but it is, yeah, this thing is absolutely deafening. So we're gonna be putting a vibrant ultra quiet in. Not necessarily to change the volume as much, but as much as just to make the noise less harsh, which is my big issue with this exhaust. It's just how harsh the sound is, not quite as much the volume. So yeah, I picked up a Vibrant Ultra Quiet and uh, Michael and I are gonna, well, Michael is gonna take, oh, rip. So we're gonna try to get this mid, this little midsection out of the exhaust and then cut and weld the uh, Vibrant in and, and uh, see how this goes. Yeah, super easy. Oh, really? Do it then. No, I mean, in terms of, you know, it's not like we're trying to do this on the OEM exhaust. So, uh, Michael and I got the midsection off the car, and uh, we're gonna start it with pretty much just open downpipe. Last time we did this was when it still had the IS-20 on it, so this might be interesting. I won't let it run for long. I don't wanna get nervous doing this, dude. It's like it's it's like it got muffled by the fact it doesn't like have anything going on there. <laughs> All right, well that was fun. That, that was a waste of time. <laughs> I totally expected to for like a good 20 seconds there. Yeah. So Michael and I just got done cutting up the the little midsection here. I had to be a human vice, which is probably one of the things I least recommend doing. While well, you've got a sawzall going Mach 7 direct like several inches from your hand if my fiance watches this i am sorry you didn't hear that um so yeah we're gonna be tossing that res in now same way i did the out yeah yeah so now i can just throw this at him okay. kevin hello mark Nice. Also nice. And resonated. Ta-da. Now it's just, all right. Here's the exhaust, uh, exhaust sealer, egg clamps. How did that work last time I did that? Great. Did it really? Yeah. Nice. My hands feel funny after that. I wish I'd recorded that. Money. 
Money shot? Dude, I'm quitting my job. Yeah, you need to just, just make exhaust for a living. You could just totally become an exhaust maker. Yeah, just not Kindle stone fabrication. All right, let's get this welded up in the car. Yeah. Oh. All right, so we're gonna do a little sound test. With exhaust. Yeah, because we're not doing, we haven't finished it yet. Oh. It'll get louder as it wears in. It's way quieter. It'll definitely get louder. The Audi got louder. It's so quiet. It's weird. I haven't heard. I haven't heard it. Get way louder. I know, but I haven't heard it this quiet in years. Still there. So that's just like it was it's a lot better it's still got a little good. does it has a, still has a little bit of rasp but i think that's just impossible to get away from with this car but the fact that i can hold a conversation huh? yeah with it running well mission success i guess let's uh let's finish her up let's complete the job <laughs> you know what's weird? How much was that one done? 125 bucks. I didn't say that's 125 bucks well spent. It doesn't it's even. Free labor from your friend. Well, free ish, because I'm paying for your food, but yeah. Oh, $10? Shoot. <laughs> this is weird. I'm so not used to this. I'm going to have to get used to being this quiet again. Not, not the high bit right. Yeah, I get what you mean though. That's exactly how this feels. Look, look, this thing gets up and goes, man. And then it just goes back to being tame. Like, it's 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 rowdy. It's like one of them straight through muffler kind of things. Yeah. The exhaust gases are going so fast, they just go straight through it instead of going through the little... The noise chambers. Yeah. That is such a drastic difference. And people online, when I was looking at this, were just like, 
Oh, these ultra clients don't do anything to these cars. They don't, they, they're worthless. Oh, it's wasted money. And yeah, this completely changed how this car sounded. It does not even sound the same as it did two hours ago, <laughs> three hours ago. Maybe hey, a little bit more than that. <laughs> Like we're cruising at almost 3,000 RPM right now and you can't even tell. It's, it's peaceful. Oh. Kind of close enough. got it too <laughs> it's still got enough of its old character for me to enjoy it i can still faintly hear the turbo whistle when we were back there that stops on get a little bit of it back but we're gonna get back to the house so we're probably gonna go grab the audi and uh, go for a short cruise and find some food but thank you all for watching this video be sure to go sub to michael or follow his instagrams or whatever he doesn't post often anymore, but hey, got to give him some support for doing this for me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.